What do you think of that? Is that all right? Ciao, friends. Beth with Thimble Hooks. And I have a bunch of new hooks I want to share with y'all. I got a whole bunch of new ones. It's always fun. Derek gets into uh, searching around Amazon mode. He'll find some really fun stuff for me that I didn't even know was a thing. So I thought I would share them with you. And we'll try them all out a little bit too and see which ones are, which ones are good and which ones are maybe not as good. But we got, of course, I'll have to start right here. Three new divot shelves. And I love, 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 love these hooks. You guys know that. This one is teak. And this one is teak. They look very different. As wood does, I guess. This is a four millimeter and this is a five and a half millimeter. Very popular sizes for me. And I'm going to give them a try here in a second. And this one is, this one was not written on the box. You see this one, my boxes are no are no fun. But that's okay. This one came in this box. This is a five millimeter. This is the resin ones that they had out for just a teeny while a couple of months ago. And I don't even know if you can get any more of these. Maybe in a few random sizes. I'm not sure. But this one is a five millimeter. And this one. This one is a four. It's actually printed on there. That's nice. It's printed on, it's not engraved on. This one did not have any printing of its size on it at all. I looked everywhere. It's not there, which is kind of crazy. So lost a brownie point for that. This is a four millimeter, it's a G hook. And this one is a five and a half millimeter, which is an I. The only thing that make, concerns me here is that this one is printed so far up that it might wear off because that's where the yarn goes back and forth and back and forth. I would, would prefer it to be down here. So those are my new divots. They're so beautiful. Let's just grab, I have a piece of obnoxiously pink yarn. We'll just give them a try real quick. My five and a half, let's give them a try. See, now that's my typical divot. I love divot soap. It's very smooth. They did a very nice job. Oops. Did a very nice job of sanding this guy. No snags. So yay. That's awesome. Let's give this one. This one was a five, I think. Is that a five? This one's a five. So that was a five and a half. This is a five millimeter in the resin. These are usually very nice. I haven't had any trouble with the other ones that I have. I think I have two other ones. There's no snagging. They're polished very nicely too. Yes, they are. So this is very nice. But again, lost a point. Lost a brownie point. No size written on it. So I'm going to have to remember forever that that's a five. And here's the four. And this is teak. I love, I have a different teak hook that's a five, four and a half, and I love it. So let's give this one a try too. So now I have a four and a four and a half which are very popular sizes for me when this is very nice. This one is nice too. I was concerned right here. It looked like it was jagged, but I think it's just part of the wood. Isn't that pretty? Let's check out the other ones that Derek found. He's very good at finding, very good at finding fun stuff. And this guy, let's see, where is this? This was a major coup. I love this guy. This is an Addy. This is just beautiful. This is an Addy. It's a singleton. It's a five millimeter. Come all by itself in its own little thing. Not in a big set. And it's engraved in the wood. So it's not going to rub off, which is awesome. And this feels, this feels like it's, it's not bamboo. It's really lightweight, but it's not bamboo. And it looks, it looks very similar to all my other teak ones, so I'm thinking that it's teak. So let's give her a try. I have no doubts that this will be perfect. Oh, wow. Very nice. Well, you can see the difference here. This tip right here is much more shallow 
So again, this was an Addy. Often they come with the very ergonomic plastic handles, with the rubberized handles. This one is a wooden handle and it is beautiful. There's nice ridges right here for grip. I'm really excited to get started working with that one. And it's a five, so it's going to be very handy all the time. It came in its own little box, or its own little, its own little pouch. So cute. This one is a Brittany. I had never heard of these before. And this is the only one that I have. Very, very lightweight. What is this? This one is birch. Very, very lightweight, but very intricate. Isn't that great? All of that beautiful carving that they did on here and the hook is very nice too. So let's try it really fast. Make sure we don't get any snags. And this is a five and a half so again very popular size for things that I do. I work right in often with the between four and five and a half all the time. Oh I love this. This thing's great. And it's engraved right carved right into the wood. It's a Brittany five and a half millimeter so it is does get its brownie point for having things written into the wood, not just stamped on. So that's awesome. Oh, I love that one. That's really pretty. That one's really pretty. What else did he find? Derek found a bunch of stuff. This is a Susan Bates. It's a five and a half millimeter and it's pink, which we love. We love the pink, but it is it has a bamboo handle. I have Susan Bates that are just regular ones. So I'm going to give this one a try and see if I like the handle. Because I'm used to used to these. Just all the way down. No handle grip. No bamboo grip. But this one has a bamboo grip. It's a little rough right here. Let's give it a try. Well, it seems to work just like any other old, any other Susan Bates hook that I have. Very nice tip, very pointy. This is a little rough right here where it's been angled down a little bit, but bamboo does that a little bit. And I don't think it's going to hurt. I don't think it'll snag. It's just not as smooth as one would hope. But it's very, very pretty and it's pink. So I can't not love it. It's pink. So there's my Susan Bates bamboo hook, the bamboo handle hook. Oh, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. But you have to see, this is too funny. This is how it came to shipped. This is a, I'm going to say it's a Nagina. It's a very fancy hook. This is, has one, two, three, has three different sh colors of wood, all marbled together very intricate at the bottom here. It does have a stamp on it of what size it is, but it's not carved in, so boo on that. But this is a beautiful hook. It says it's an 8 millimeter. We bought a 5 millimeter, and it doesn't look like it's either of them to me. It doesn't look quite right, so I have to get out a measuring device for this guy. But it's how it came wrapped. We wrapped in a little bit of brown paper and then wrapped in one itsy bitsy little piece of bubble wrap and put in a white and blue uh, Amazon envelope and it got here in one piece. I'm stunned because this thing should have snapped with just this itty bitty little bit of sad little packaging. Well, that's good. It's very smooth. has a nice pointy tip. This is nice and pointy right here. It seems the inside is sanded nicely. I'm not finding any ridges. And it's nice and pointy. But this is a gorgeous hook. And then I've got this one was just for fun. Derek found this and he couldn't resist. This is a huge set. <laughs> they make me giggle. Just a huge set of bamboo sticks. They seem rough, but it is easy to fix if they are rough, but they look a little rough. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them from a 
three millimeter all the way up to a 10 millimeter. So I just thought that was super fun. These are Tunisian. Bamboo Tunisian needles. A big set of them and I know these were not very expensive. They do have the bonus points of having their sizes stamped into, actually carved into the bamboo. So that's good. You can see it very clearly and I can feel that it's actually into the wood, into the bamboo, not just stamped on or painted on. Look at this beauty. I'm so excited. If I can get it out. Yes, I can get it out. And of course it's pink, which I love so much. But this is a tulip. And it's pink. This is a 10 millimeter. This is for the super bulky. So when I start getting into more winter things, this will probably be the one you see on the screen a lot. So there's that. And of course, because it's a tulip, it's going to be perfectly smooth. And we'll just give it a little try. I know everybody loves tulips. And I know they get great reviews. And I'm going to give this one a great review too. I love this hook and it's nice and smooth and it has a nice grip right here. So this is a beauty. And my last baby right here. I'm so excited about this guy. This is one of Tulip's red Edimos and it's a three and a half. And this guy is just pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This was one of the, I was so excited when he found this. Just one, one hook. They often come in sets and the set is really expensive. And he found me one in a three and a half. We'll give this a try real quick. And again, this was a tulip from the Etimo, from the red set. And the red set are all the tiny ones. All the tiny millimeter size hook. And this is just gorgeous. Ooh, this is nice. Yes. Ooh, I highly recommend. I'm going to have to get more tulips. These are, this is wonderful. And I got, look at three and a half and a ten. How cute is that? <laughs> They're just the big one and the teeny one. And it's even really short compared to the ten that's really, really long. So that's funny. So here, I'm going to scoop them all up. Here is my huge hook haul and this guy, the Tunisian bamboos. I'm not quite sure if those are going to be in my use pile or not. I'm going to have to see if they need to be sanded down and if I need to do any touch-up work on them. But here's my babies. Aren't they gorgeous? And speaking of gorgeous, you guys all have to check out our giveaway that's on right now. Don't forget about that one. It's a really nice set of hooks. Better go check it out. But there's all my babies, my new babies. Sizes across the board for every project. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so lucky. But I wanted to share them all with you before I started using them. So now I get to go and start designing. I am so excited. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for supporting my small business. Go check out some of my already posted videos. Got some great patterns out there. Uh, please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all your friends and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.